Okay, so heart location, just to reorient, pulmonary trunk, aorta, and this is the aortic arch behind it. And then just to let myself think, well, what's off of the aorta? I have a brachiocephalic trunk and a left subclavian. So that's how I know that's the aorta because I can see those two things coming off of it. Okay, so those so, things. Mm -hmm. You got a question? Okay. So those two are the um, left subclavian. Okay, so this one is the left subclavian, mm -hmm. and this is the brachiocephalic trunk. And this okay. one will go out to the arm. I'll do that in just a minute. Let's do the veins first, because they're um, on top or the most surface. So I know under the heart, or posterior, I've got a posterior vena cava. Let's get just a little more light here. I've got a posterior vena cava, okay? And that again is the blue thing going all the way down that you see. Mm -hmm. I'm above the diaphragm though, so I wanna focus. The posterior vena cava is still above the diaphragm, but I'm gonna to go to this one. This is the anterior vena cava. And off of the anterior vena cava, the only one that's singular by itself, meaning it doesn't have a twin, is the hemiazygos. And so let's see that hemiazygos running with the aorta. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep, so this is the descending thoracic aorta this tube here, and here would be our hemiazygos running down with it, okay? That's the only one like that. Everything else is a match, so now let's go up to the brachiocephalic trunks. Oops. Here's a brachiocephalic trunk, this is the left one, and here's a brachiocephalic trunk, that's the right one. Okay, so they fork just like that. And then I'm gonna have four branches off of my fork. I'm gonna have an arm, a scapula, and then the external jugular and the internal jugular. Okay, so it's gonna go one, two, three, four. Okay, so let's do those. So remember that this sharp thing here, that's the clavicle. Remember that? Mm -hmm. And so anything near it, I'm gonna call subclavicular. And even though you can't see, because there's a little bit of tissue on here, Let's see. Let's call this one subclavian. Okay, so subclavian. Because the clavicle has been cut away. So there's subclavian. Then I'm going to go out to the axillary area, mm -hmm. the armpit area. Remember, I've gone outside the ribs. So now I've popped through the ribs, and I'm in this armpit area. Can I fold the pig's arm up right there? Yes. So anything hanging out over that empty area is axillary. Okay, anything over that empty area is axillary. Now I'm gonna go onto the muscle of the arm, onto the actual flesh of the arm. Anything on the arm, I want you to call it brachial. And so this one has several branches to it, but let's just call it brachial on the arm. Okay, I'm above the elbow, there's the elbow. So this is where you would put a blood pressure cuff, right? So that's how I know I'm on the arm right there. Good? Mm -hmm. Okay, now the next one we're gonna do is the subscapular, and how I know that's subscapular is the pig's scapula is right here, mm -hmm. okay? So this is the drain from underneath that bone, underneath the scapula. So this is the subscapular vein. So it went axillary, subscapular. The next one up is the external jugular. It's on that uh, most lateral part. And then the next one closest to the midline or the medial is the internal jugular. And the internal jugular always runs with the common, common carotid artery, yep. So these two run as a pair, as a team. Okay. So on this side, we could try it. We could say that this was the right brachiocephalic trunk, and then we'll come out this way. We'll go one, two, three. Oh, we got an extra here. So this is cephalic, so we're gonna take that one. One, two, Three, four. Uh huh. Let me move the. So that would be cephalic. Don't worry about yeah, time. don't worry about that one. Yeah. yeah. So here's our first one. If this is our brachiocephalic trunk, here's the subclavian, here's the axillary, and then right onto the arm itself, it's going to turn into brachial. And this one isn't isn't dissected out. But if it were, if you see a blue thing on the arm itself, you guys call it brachial. Okay. All right. Next one up is gonna go to subscapular. So here's that one, subscapular. Okay. 
Next one up is external jugular. There it is, external jugular. And then the last one closest to the midline, running with the carotid artery, is the internal jugular. Here's the carotid artery. Okay, so one, two, three, sorry, one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Good. What we've been doing is cutting that so you can't see it. Mm. So you don't get confused. Okay? You good with veins, yeah. right? Let's do arteries. So on the pig, we want to look at the, remember, pulmonary trunk. So now we want to go with aortic arch. Now this one again is torn just a little bit, but I can see the aorta running all the way down right there. And you can see that this becomes the arch. You can see where this is the arch here behind the hemiazygos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I know that that's the descending thoracic aorta. I said these were the two branches off of it. Remember the pig has two pipes and people have three. So let's look at that. Get it out of there. I don't know what I'm stuck on. Okay, so I think we should draw that again for you before you leave. How about that? I'm having trouble going that way. So we'll go this way. So there's the two, all right? So I've got left subclavian going out to the arm. Just like this was the left subclavian vein, this is the left subclavian artery. It goes out to the arm. Once it turns red out here, or once, it's, once you find the red one, now I'm over that open space again. Mm -hmm. So I'm axillary. And then on this pig, here's a little brachial. Yep, because I'm on the arm, okay? Let's do this side. This is the brachiocephalic trunk. Just like this was a brachiocephalic trunk, and so was this. This is the brachiocephalic trunk. It's gonna go, it's gonna go carotid, carotid arm. Okay? So it'll be left common carotid, right common carotid, and then we'll see uh, right subclavian is a little hard to find on here. It's underneath this. But let's go to right axillary, because I'm in that open space here. So there's right axillary. And then on the arm, you would have this would be brachial. But of course, you want to look for a pig. When we're pinning this, you want to look for one that has red or blue in it. That's what we try to show you, OK? Take that out. Let me see your pencil. It looks like this. This being the left subclavian, and this being the brachiocephalic trunk. Okay, this will go to the carotids, and then it'll go to the right subclavian. Does that work? Okay, there you go. All right, let's do the arteries and veins below the diaphragm.